Mm. Good stuff. Hey, good people. This is your brother, L, welcoming you to podcast number 237 of I'm For Real, Yes, It's True.com. And for those of you who, are, who have been on this journey for almost three years with me, God bless you. And a special welcome to those of you who are new here. What we do is we tell true to life stories that have happened from 1980 until the present day, sent in by the listeners. I take the stories and make the donor as anonymous as possible by changing names, dates, times, states, and sexes, and anything that's going to identify the person who's sending in the story that I tell. Unless, of course, they give me permission to use their name. Anyway, I want to move on and jump into today's story and today's podcast, number 237, which I've entitled Different Moms. As a matter of fact, this is going to be a very, very brief one as I just wanted to make one or two points. And today is April 4th, I believe. No, I'm sorry. April 2nd, Palm Sunday, one week before Easter. Now, by next week being Easter, of course, we know that uh, it's the day that we know as Christians that uh, Jesus was resurrected from the dead. <clears throat> After three days, hanging on the cross coming from Good Friday. Now without these events, what we believe would be meaningless. Let us not forget this week to pray in thanks to our Heavenly Father for Jesus' sacrifice. All right? Oh, for those of you who are new here, you'll see me occasionally looking down because I'm reading some notes that I've gathered so that I don't run by my points and miss anything. Since this podcast is so brief, um, I occasionally need to uh, keep a few notes on hand. Now I'll be brief. Okay. What happened today, and here's where the story begins, I wore on a previous podcast, it you may have seen, a beautiful gray printed shirt that was given to me by one of my brothers in Christ. His name is Mr. Ron Price. I saw he had one, commented on how nice I thought it looked, and he blessed me with one. And I wore it today, and the technicians in the sound and lighting booth at my church commented on it. One said that he even thought it looked dapper, which is a term I haven't heard in a while, but I'll take it as a compliment. Praise God. Now, um, after I thank them, I said to them, try to be clever, as your brother L often tries to do, not always successfully. I said, uh, yeah, we have the same sense of style, even though we, there's about 15 different, uh, 15 years difference in our ages. But I think it's probably because we have different mothers, but the same father. Now it took them about five seconds just to look at me and say, ah, we got it, we got it. Yeah, you know what? We are all from different mothers, but we do all have the same father, amen? <laughs> amen. They all agreed. And they thought it was halfway clever. Anyway, well, what the Bible says about that is uh, in Isaiah chapter 67, uh, verse 7, Yet, Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hands. Amen. Also, in chapter 3, verse 1 of John, it says, See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Amen and amen. I told you this was going to be sweet and short, or short and sweet, or very brief. And I just want to thank you all for being on this journey continuously, and uh, especially for all the wonderful comments it's when we had the, uh, the last guest in. Thank you so much. That was tremendous, and I love you for it. Again, this is your brother, L. I'm not your pastor. And if it's God's will, I'll be here again next week, and I hope you will too. Don't forget your coffee. We do a lot of that around here. Those of you who are new, um, <laughs> don't forget to bring your coffee with you. Mm. 
And also, if you haven't done so already, please look down on the lower right hand side of the story screen, click on the follow tab. And if you do that and send us your contact information, we will send you these wonderful, wonderful subscription gifts that we have been given free of charge to give to you just because we love you. We want to bless you. And um, that offer is especially for you newbies, ones who are new here that haven't already received these. Now, the ones who've been on this journey for a while, if they've <laughs> given me their info, they've already received these gifts. But if you want more, we have plenty and it won't cost you one dime. We just want to love one of you. We just want to bless you. And we hope that you'll show up every week. Amen. Amen. So again, this is your brother L, not your pastor. I love you and I'm praying for you every single day. And that's absolutely real. And if it's God's will, we'll be here again next week. Amen. We hope you will too. I love you. We'll see you soon. Don't forget your coffee. <laughs>